Hello, I'm Hernan and welcome to the 3D Color Factory Lesson 7 on Multicolor 3D Printing using support blockers in Cura and printing the an Ender 3 from Creality. For this lesson we'll be making this Christmas ball. The interesting feature of this print is that all the colors are printed at the same height and that they are all not simple rectangular or circular shapes, which is going to require us to be a little more creative on the way we approach this print. The base of this design is this picture of a Christmas bone that I found in the internet. First I drew a circle and some vertical lines like the ones you see in a world map. Then I added some guidelines to make sure I have a symmetrical drawing and added the lines to complete the design. When we remove the picture, the guidelines and the vertical lines, we see the basic design of the Christmas ball. We need to add two circles for the hole for the string to hang it in the Christmas tree. And finally, the last edit is to make double lines where the different colors will meet and a little cleanup of some extra lines. These double lines will be the gap that allows us to print different colors next to each other without crashing. We export this drawing as an SVG so we can use it in Fusion. When we create the sketch in Fusion, we first draw a circle 80 mm in diameter and convert it to a construction line. We are using this circle as a reference to resize the SVG because every time we insert an SVG into Fusion, the size is always wrong. Let's select all the components with the exception of the hole for the string and strip them 2 mm. Next, with the exception of the double lines inner section, select all the components and extrude them 0.6 mm from the previous object. The important thing in this operation is to create new bodies. These bodies give us control of what we can turn on or off. Like we are doing here, where we turn off the back of the Christmas ball and we see only the stripes. We are going to name these top bodies as section 1 through 7, just for us to keep track of which section we are talking about. So let's turn on section 1, 3, 5 and 7 and turn off section 2, 4 and 6. Save this as an STL that we are going to call Christmas Backplate. Now turn off section 1, 3, 5 and 7 and turn on only section 2. And save this as an STL that we are going to call Christmas 2. Now turn off section 2 and turn on only section 4. And save this as an STL that we are going to call Christmas 4. Now turn off section 4 and turn on the section 6. And save this as an STL we are going to call Christmas 6. Let's open Cura and load the model Christmas Backplate. We run the slicer and check in preview if the layers look good. Everything looks ok. Then we can save the G-code and rename it Christmas Backplate. We go back to Cura, select the model and move it to Z-0.2 to create the interference we have been using in the previous lessons. Now we make this model into an eraser. We do this by selecting all the parameters that we want to make zeros. This is the key part of the support blocker technique we have been using in these lessons. Let's load model Christmas 2. We have to align this model with the previous model which we made into an eraser. So we move this model to Z-0.2. We run the slicer. In preview we confirm that only section 2 is being printed. 
we save this G code and rename it Christmas 2. Now that the G code for section 2 is done, we don't need this model anymore. So we delete model Christmas 2 and load model Christmas 4. That like with the previous model, we move it to Z minus 0 0.2. We run the slicer and see that only section 4 is being printed. Save this G code and rename it Christmas 4. Now that the G code for section 4 is done, we don't need this model anymore. So we delete model Christmas 4 and load model Christmas 6, which we move to Z minus 0.2. I hope that by now you are sent to see the pattern of this technique. We run the slicer and see that only section 6 is being printed. Save this G code and rename it Christmas 6. OK, now it's time to edit the G codes. Open G code Christmas backplate in Notepad. In this G code, we only need to add the semicolon to the M14 instructions to keep the bed hot between prints. So we add the semicolon and save the file. Now we open G code Christmas 2. We need to add the crash avoidance instructions. So we add three blank spaces. We copy and paste twice the instruction that we need to modify. I'm going to make Z4 to avoid the crash. After that, we add the semicolon to the N14 instructions to keep the bed hot between prints. Once done with the edits, we save the file. Now we open G code Christmas 4. We also add the crash avoidance instructions. So we add three blank spaces. We copy and paste twice the instruction that we need to modify. We make Z4 to avoid the crash. Like in the previous G code, we add the semicolon to the M14 instructions to keep the bed hot between prints. Once done with the edits, we save the file. Now we open G code Christmas 6, which is the last G code in this project. For this G code, we only need to add the crash avoidance instructions. So we add three blank spaces, we copy and paste twice the instruction that we need to modify, we make a Z4 to avoid the crash. Now that we have finished editing the G code, let's proceed to print them. We start by printing G code Christmas backplate. Once finished printing, we change the filament. Since for this print I want to have the center stripe white and the top and bottom stripes yellow, I'm going to change the print order and print the center stripe next. So we will print G code Christmas 4. As you can see, we're printing in between the other sections without crashing. When finished printing, we change the filament to yellow and print G code Christmas 2. As soon as this G code finishes printing, we continue printing G code Christmas 6. And here is the finished print. It looks pretty good. What do you think? Let's do a closer inspection of the gaps. Since they are the same color as the adjacent stripes, you can barely see them from up close and they pretty much disappear from a little distance. To better show you these gaps, I printed this Christmas ball where the back is black and the stripes are white. So printing the gaps the same color as the stripes next to it creates the optical effect where they seem to disappear.
like in previous videos, I included a link to Thingiverse, where you can download the models we use today. Well, that is all we have for today. I hope you can join me for the next lesson. Until then, thank you for watching and have a great day.